so some of you may know that when I review the Project Soapway footage, I actually review it first audibly. So I listen to all the footage because usually the Sudzers are talking to me during their pour, which is always still a wild thing for me to sort of realize every single time I'm reviewing the winner's footage. It's like the knowledge that there were also a whole bunch of other Sudzers out there that were doing the same thing and I didn't get to hear them. So it makes me sad. But also, you know, I want to hear the Sudzers talking to me, the ones that won, so I can get information about their company and about their poor and about their process and all the things. But I had to stop what I was doing, which was making a whole bunch of bath bombs and actually watch because her technique with the putting in of all the different colors of the soap batter for the Lotus Swirl had my mind blown. And so I can't wait to talk to you about that and I can't wait for you to see it. But I will tell you more about all of the mind-blowing things in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for Project Soapway Lotus Swirl Challenge. And it's like challenge 9 million at this point. And we have a winner number two. And today's winner is Sun Star Soapery. So she started doing the whole soapy journey about two years ago. I love her website. I love what she has done with her collaborations. I love her marketing. I love her designs. I love her technique. I love everything about what I have seen from this Sudzer so far. And what I really loved was this was a new way for me to have ever witnessed a Lotus pour. So let's get to the video and we can watch her technique and her pour because the faster we go there, the faster you get to watch and see all of the awesomeness that I saw. Okay, so let's talk about the colors. We have I Dream of Purple, and we have, I think, oh yeah, Peacock. Yep, also a gorgeous color. She's doing two purples in this, so that's a lot of fun for me. And then also Flirt, which is one of my favorite, all from Mad Micah's, and Pow Pow Purple for her colors, and oh, she's also doing some blue tide. Okay, cool. Now, also, this had me shooketh. She's using Hydrangea for a Lotus. And when I saw that, I'm like, okay, that's a, that's a choice. That's a moment because for me, florals are uh, really spicy and they tend to thicken soap batter like nobody's business. And so I was interested to see just how thick her soap batter got. And if you are not watching and you just like to do the audio only, A, I think that's weird because it's beautiful soap and my voice is not great, but two, it gets really thick the soap batter. So stay tuned for that. Also, I said earlier that she wasn't really talking a whole lot in the actual pour of the video, and that's true, but she did send me a separate video wherein she was talking about herself and her business while she was cutting some soap bands for some wedding favors for her brother and sister-in-law's upcoming nuptials on 11-11. So hey, welcome to the 11-11 gang. Me too, you know? I did it because Skyrim and Elder Scrolls, you know, because I was, I love Bethesda. I don't know why they're doing it, but 11-11. Yay. Anyway, so uh, she did talk about herself and her business and all of the things. And I uh, had to sit with that after I listened to it and cry for quite a bit. Like I had a really good cry because she is uh, yet another Sudzer who, I don't know, uh, brought me to a place that was just, you know, I... 
the Sato community is such an amazing community and Erin of Sunstar is just another example of that. She was uh, telling me about a situation in her life a few years ago wherein she was going through it, you know, really dark low time and she found soap and clay. She found the Sudzers and she said that she fell in love and she never left and that we helped her get through uh, dark times and uh, gave her the courage and the confidence to find her creative passion and to start her business ultimately. And I, uh, I, I, I love that. I love that she turned to us and I love that the Sudzers did not let her down in that because you guys are why I continue to do all of this. Why, why I put out videos in the first place, why I do the project Soapway because you are amazing. I love that I'm not the only crazy person out there who thinks that this group of people is just the best, you know, and thank you for for being the best and thank you for being there for yet another person that you didn't know was going through it but you you got her through times just like you got me through times she actually said in her video at some point that uh the Sudger community saved her and uh hey that's echoes of something that i have told you guys before because you've saved me so Thank you. And thank you for sharing that, Aaron. And I am like not going to cry throughout all of this because I've been doing great with it. So let's go watch this pour. Notice how great the batter is. It's so thin and gorgeous. Yeah, that's going to change. And on to the pour. And I said that it's an interesting pour in the way that she lays down her soap colors. So when she gets there, remind me to actually start talking about it because, you know, just somebody yell at me and tell me that I need to talk about it. First up, let's look at this and how thick it immediately got. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a floral. Florals get so spicy because yeah, it's going to be quite the adventure, but I want to go to her website and I want to ooh and ah and, you know, do all the things over there because my God, her website is cool. She does fun stuff in the way that she names her soaps and whatnot. Like she's got, um, one that's, uh, hold on. I know. Oh, she has one that says, I said fireball, which is amazing. That's a really fun, like meme D and D geek reference there. And she has a dark crystal. She has one that's called black hold sun. Isn't that cute? She has a series where one is the Montague, one is the Capulet, which is super funny. Uh, Purple Squall, Windy Willow, the Dragon's Fire. So much of her actual, oh, and that's cute too, General Grievance. That's adorable because General Grievous, right? That's like a, a Star Wars a Star Wars guy. She loves Star Wars. She is a Star Wars geek. Uh, she's a geek geek. Her and her husband, Mr. Sunstar. Oh, there's a scold the south. Stop it. And a scold the north. I love this. So they love D&D. &D. They are big, uh, you know, tabletop gamers. So I wonder if you guys are playing Baldur's Gate. Are you guys liking Baldur's Gate 3? I'm not playing that right now. We're doing Starfield because I couldn't get into Baldur's Gate knowing that Starfield was about to come up. And anytime a new Bethesda game drops, I'm totally here for it. But I thought that it was so inventive and amazing that she had fun with the naming and the theming of her soaps on her website and just adding that extra bit of personality within all of it. My web developer, tell, Mr. Webman, tells me all of the time, you know, the, the business was always built on you. It's a reflection of you. It's not the soaps. It's you. You know, you are the brand. And so I have always just really stuck with that and I just keep that going throughout the entirety of everything that I do, my website copy, the naming of my soaps, you know, it's, it's fun when you have to continue to just name things. Here's a lavender mint and that's boring. You know, you lose the fun. And Erin did say in her footage that she sent through when she was wrapping the wedding favor soaps that she, uh, Oh, is that a surprise? Do you already know that? Do they not know that? Maybe they're not watching. Let's just change course and just stop talking about it then. Let's talk about the poor. See, thanks for bringing me back to the actually talking about the poor thing. She's doing some interesting stuff with this soap batter, right? Like these colors she's putting in the middle two. It looks like she's putting every color into the middle two divider sections, cavities, 
which I find interesting. And also look how thick it is. I uh, cut out quite a bit of her actually getting the, uh, the dividers out later, but she went to town with it, trying to get it out and like taking all of the spatulas to it and trying to, I mean, it was not coming out, which you're going to see really soon. It got so thick. And so when I saw this footage, knowing the bar that she won from, like all I saw was the bar. I didn't know that the batter got thick or anything. I was impressed. I mean, it was definitely like a, a slow clap moment, you know? But yeah, I really do, as I said, love her website very much. A lot of really gorgeous photography. We have good information going on here. We have, uh, you know, everything is broken down. She has a pine tar blend and a uh, really blown out website in general. She has some cool collaborations as well. So she does collaborations with Hidden Vineyard, which is a winery and Midsummer Brewing, which is, you know, going to be a, an ale house or a, a cider house. And so she does collaborations wherein she makes wine and beer soaps for them, which is awesome. She also on her website has an events page. So there's a calendar with everything that they are doing as far as her, you know, her upcoming events, really. And so she's got a pop-up coming up on November 4th at the Hidden Vineyard. And uh, she's really cooking with gas. This is an incredible website. Well done. She did actually say in her stuff that she sent through when she was talking to me that she's got herself a web developer. She's got herself a webman, which I recommend. 10 out of 10. Because doing this part, the, the fun part of the soap making, that's the part that I want to do. I don't want to figure out everything that needs to go on my website, you know, and make sure it's there. So back to this pour, super, super thick stuff. And yeah, she's continued to just layer these, all of her colors into the, the two middle cavities. And I've never seen a lotus done like this. Usually, you know, you have four cavities there with me, which means you have four colors. And so you're going to put them all, you know, purple, pink, blue, and then the darker purple. And it's all one color. That's not what's happening here. And I find it very cool. Have you guys ever seen a Lotus done this way? I tell you what, when I got to this part and I saw her just layering the colors over the top of each other in these two cavities, I immediately went and made a lye solution and waited, you know, let it go start cooling while I watched the rest of the footage because I wanted to try it. I wanted to see if it did something different. And I will let you know the results as soon as I, you know, cut that that batch of soap, but I haven't done that yet. But going on into, you know, the bulk of this pour, how thick it continues to get. And she, she didn't panic. She didn't do anything. She didn't just throw in the towel. She kept going. She kept on trusting the process. And I mean, obviously it worked out in her favor because she ended up winning a project soapway challenge, which means the bar was gorgeous. Now, one of the reasons why I really wanted to see what she did with the actual pour because the the, the footage, I mean, the, the soap that she submitted for the Project Soapway, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was a beautiful, they were beautiful bars and they weren't really uh, set up in an actual, what I would consider the, the quote unquote proper way to put two soaps together to get your Lotus they were almost right. Like she just needed to turn the bar a little bit. And so I thought that I might be able to take a couple screen grabs when we get to the cut and maybe put it in the way that would reveal the Lotus. But that said, her mind was looking at the cuts of this soap and she saw a Lotus within a different, it, I don't know why I'm talking about the cut right now. I'm just so excited for everybody to see it. And also, I am trying not to let my anxiety, you know, feed into all of this video because if this were me as a soaper, I would be probably angry, really, because I get mad at my soap batter when it gets thick. But I, I don't know. I don't know that I would have continued on with this. I probably would have just ripped all of the dividers out and got everything into the mold, did a swirly swirl thing and called it something completely different at this point, but she didn't. And she's also filling this two side cavities with the purples, only with the purples. Looks like that's all that ultimately ended up in those two side cavities. But in the middle, those two middle cavities, it was the pink and the blue and the purple, both of them. 
layered. Very interesting, right? Yeah, I love it. I, I, it's a very inventive way to do it. I definitely, like I said, I went to try for sure. But yeah, this is part of her getting everything out. And it's so, so thick. I just, I can't even with it, honey. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, yeah. So, oh, also more about Erin. So she and her husband are, uh, they, they used to work in the OR together. I don't know if they still do, but she's an x-ray tech and he is a scrub tech by trade. And he does a lot of the design work for the booths and whatnot for the business. And he is her salesperson. And she does all of the making and all of the creative endeavors for all of the soap. So I think it's great always seeing a husband and wife team working together, something that they enjoy together and that they can be a part of. So they've got D&D &D that they get to be a part of and also a soap business. So they've got creativity and imagination out the wazoo all of the time. You know what I mean? Because you have to be a very creative person to play D&D. &D. You know, quick on your feet. It's, it's a whole thing for sure. But yeah, do you see how thick that is? I, oh, I applaud you so, I can't believe you ended up with such gorgeous soaps after how thick this soap batter is. I'm so proud of you for just continuing on and trusting the process. Because again, I know what the soaps look like and they are beautiful. I mean, you know what the soaps look like too because you see the thumbnail, but it's, it's so thick. Oh my gosh. Yep, I... That, that's a moment. It really is. But yeah, so they both work in the medical field and I love that. Actually, it reminds, I think it's Rissa. Is it Rissa that they, you guys both work in medical as well? I don't remember, but yeah, I, I really enjoy that. I enjoy knowing that there's another couple out there that enjoys each other's company so much that they do parts of, you know, they do the business together and all the fun things. And I really also like that it's another sudzer within the medical field because I can uh, talk to you about glass and know that you're not going to be mad at me. So that's fun. But anyway, I don't know if this soap gets sea popped or gelled. It's a very, very thick soap, but purples exist in it. And look at that cute little spoon. Isn't that the cutest little spoon in the world? It's so adorable. I love that so hard. But yeah, I... Uh, the purples are in are in this, and so I'm going to assume C pop and gel because you gotta get those purples to pop, but I don't know. I might be the only person in the world that loves to C pop and gel everything. I have no idea. Oh, and then she's gonna use the cute the tiniest little spoon in the world to create the, the sculpt on the top, which is also fun because she's doing it just for her at this point, you know what I mean? Just have a pretty top because these get cut different. Speaking of cuts. She is going to cut some very big end pieces right now. And so let's go check that out and see what this all looks like inside. Okay, yeah, so a different angle. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been playing with angles a whole lot throughout this uh, you know, video and the edits and stuff that I did because... I, A, thought it was interesting the way that she played with her angles in getting her pattern, her lotus, to actually release. But two, I thought that she maybe just needed to rotate her bars like 45 degrees or something in order to get the full context of her, you know, design. But yeah, that's her end piece. She did two of those. Those are full-size bars, ma'am. Sell those for full price. That's delightful. But yeah, so it's a, that's again her end piece. And so it's still beautiful. I love it. Call it whatever you want and sell it because it's full price. But look at the way that she is now cutting this. So she got her two end pieces off and she's putting it in to get four pieces from top to bottom. Okay. And big bars. So this would be a big lotus if she put the bars lengthwise against each other like that you know and then so the other side to the left of that essentially would be a big lotus but would be a gorgeous lotus now that said see put that one next to it yep that said she uh saw lotus a different way she had a different angle and a different perspective on what the lotus would ultimately be and so she started playing with kind of what she thought she could do and maybe cut it a little bit 
smaller and I'll show you that in a second but here's my awesome Photoshop skills to show you what I mean see there but with the matching bars but yeah that's her ultimate Lotus and I'm not mad at that because that's also a different way to Lotus I suppose you know it's very very gorgeous look at all of the amazing just contrast with the colors and the beautiful swirls and all little peaks throughout the entire thing and she did that with insanely thick soap batter so yeah she's just kind of looking at it thinking maybe that's a lotus and whatever it's beautiful I like the way that her mind works I like that she had a different take on the lotus I like that all of this hard work and dedication has paid off Aaron Sunstar Sopri you're amazing congratulations congratulations on launching the business and doing all the things congratulations on the win this was a gorgeous bar of soap well done have you guys seen that before? One, layering the different soaps, like the colors themselves into each individual cavity, you know? And two, do you notice a difference? Because when I tell you that I moved so fast to immediately go and pour one of my own after I saw that, I can't even. I dropped everything for the day. And I will tell you my results about that, you know, obviously when I cut it and everything. I'll show you. Don't worry about it. But yeah. I'd never seen anything like that. I thought it was really, really cool. And yeah, so across the board, gorgeous soap. It's uh, her first win for the Project Soapway challenges. I don't know if it's her first submission or not, but it's definitely a win well earned. And I love that you gave me something that I haven't seen before. It's very cool how sudsers, how soap makers, no matter how long they've been doing this, can still teach people that have been doing this for a very long time. That's the beauty of the soap making community. It's certainly the beauty of the Sudzer community. So Sudzers, you know what I'm about to say. Go show Aaron of Sunstar Soapery all of the love. Mrs. Sunstar Soapery is doing a great job. She is a very welcome addition to the community and I look forward to getting to know her more. For sure. For those of you who are not Sudzers, you could click subscribe. For those of you who want to be membered Sudzers, you could click join. There's a membership. That's how you actually get the access to the Project Soapway challenges, all of the things. Speaking of, I am announcing the final two Project Soapway challenges for the year, today or tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. And I do have a live schedule that we are going to be doing very, very soon too. So very, very excited for all of that. For my members, thank you. For my Sudzers, thank you. For all of my friends that exist in this community, thank you. You are awesome. Go show Aaron all the love. Go be awesome today. Go wrap everybody in a great big hug because I know the Sudzers are going through it in lots of different ways. So I'm out of here, but I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Project Soapway. So be fun. Bye. this one today's project soapway winner she wasn't actually talking to me but i was you know watching it anyway and i had to stop what i was doing which was seriously that's so loud are we done okay